While we were anchored out in the marshes of Georgia, it got us thinking about one of our favorite fish, flounder. So tonight I'm making a flounder frances. So uh, frances is one of my favorite uh, preparations. If it's on a me menu at a restaurant, I'm gonna order it. So, uh, but I'm gonna cook it at home. So this is a bag with some flour and some seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, pepper, paprika, and I'm just gonna uh, mix it around and get the uh, fish nice and coated. Jackie, dust the flounder with uh, the, fl the flounder with the flour. Uh, then you put it through an egg wash, just like this. You want to make sure you got plenty of egg because that's what the batter is really all about. And then you're gonna drop it in a pretty hot skillet. You want it to sizzle when you put it down. If it doesn't, not hot enough. But I got some sizzle. We're just gonna let those cook through. All right, so it's been about two minutes on the first side. So I'm flipping the flounder. I'm gonna cook it for uh, probably another two minutes. Uh, it really just depends on the thickness. These flounder fillets are pretty thin cut, so they don't really take too much time, and you definitely do not want to overcook fish. All right, so there's the fish. I'm just gonna cover it uh, lightly to keep it warm. You want to make sure that steam can escape so that the that nice breading doesn't just fall off of it. And now I'm on to uh, the sauce. So, uh, we're going to have some onions, of course, plenty of garlic. Just stir around for a few minutes and get a little soft, but you don't really want to get a lot of um, color on them because the, the sauce is kind of a light sauce. You don't want like super charred onions in there. Okay, so use a little bit of the flour uh, left over from flouring the flounder. It doesn't matter that there was raw fish in it because you're going to uh, cook it. And this is going to be the thickener for your sauce. So about two tablespoons of that. Uh, to an equal amount of fat that you should already have in your pan. So if you don't have that much, put a little bit more. And you want to uh, cook that for just about a minute or so until the flour uh, has kind of absorbed into the fats uh, and you want to get rid of that raw flour taste. And then when that has happened, you're going to add your liquids. So this is uh, white wine, lemon juice, and some lemon zest. And you're going to add that in there, stir it, and then you're going to let it simmer till it reduces and thickens. And I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning to this. Um, I'm not adding any salt because we're putting capers in it. and. Uh, Capers will add plenty of salt. Then we do a little pepper, just a little bit more garlic powder and uh, onion powder. Okay, so the last step is I'm going to add capers, and that's about a half a teaspoon or so of capers, uh, also known as just what we have left in the fridge. And then I'm going to add our flounder back in to the sauce. Want to make sure that it gets nice and coated. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna serve the flounder franchise with some pasta, campanelli, and also some steamed broccoli. Then you want to spoon this delicious sauce over the top of your pasta. Mm. Alright, and there you have it. You 
flounder franchise with campanelli pasta and a little broccoli.